When we build a 10G network architecture, it is critical to choose the right connection equipment. There are currently two common options, 10G Base T solutions, which are used with cables such as CAT6 or CAT6A, and SFP solution, which SP Plus Optics, DAC and AOC cables. So what are the differences between them? Next, we will introduce their differences from five aspects, application, latency, power consumption, compatibility, and cost. In terms of application, 10G Base T copper modules are paired with copper cables to support network transmission within 100 meters and are usually used between switch wiring cabinets. SFP Plus fiber modules are usually used in campus LANs to connect multiple buildings, usually across longer distance. An SFP Plus DAC is very suitable for short distance 7 mm top of rack cabinet connections. Next is latency. Low latency can reduce response time and CPU idle cycles. This is very important. 10G Base T copper modules use the PHY standard, which stipulates that the duration of the send-receive pair is 2.6 microseconds, and the block size requires latency to be less than 2 microseconds. In contrast, SFP Plus uses simplified electronics without encoding, so its typical latency is about 300 nanoseconds per link, which is lower than the other two products. In terms of power consumption, in general, 10G Base T cabling consumes three to four times more power than SFP Plus cabling. This is because 10G Base T cabling consumes about two to five watts per port. SFP cabling consumes about 0.7 watts per port. When you install thousands of cables in a data center, this gap becomes larger and larger, and using SFP Plus can save more energy. If you are upgrading your network, and still retaining the original network equipment, backward compatibility is also a point to consider. 10G Base T copper modules are effectively backward compatible with existing 1G networks and can automatically negotiate between 10100, 1000 BPS, and 10G. SFP Plus optical modules can be applied to 10G Ethernet and 10G fiber channel but are not compatible with copper cabling systems, although sometimes they can be used in 1G fiber networks. As for SFP Plus DAC high-speed cables, they are only used for connecting 10G Ethernet switches without flexibility. Finally, the most important thing is of course the cost, which determines whether you have the money to buy them. As an example, prices on the QSFP Tech website are 9 to 90 for the 10G SRSFP Plus module and 13 90 for the LR. In contrast, the 10 Gigabase T copper modules are much more expensive, costing 35 90 cents per unit each. And their connecting cables, fiber cables, and CAT6A cables are very close in price per meter. So with the SFP Plus solution, costing under $20 per port, and the 10G Base T solution, costing around $40 per port, the choice depends on your financial situation. Of course, if you are upgrading your equipment, you also need to consider whether you were using fiber or copper and whether you can reuse it to save money. In general, if you care more about scalability and flexibility, then 10G Base T cabling is a better choice. However, if power consumption and lower latency are more important to you, then it is better to choose 10G SFP Plus cabling. Here are the advantages and disadvantages we have summarized, and we hope you can choose according to your network needs. QSFP Tech provides 10G Base T and SFP Plus solutions and has a professional technical team to answer your questions. Welcome to visit QFPTech.com for more information.